Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. I'm looking at Rayek the Morris's End today. I did video Rayek's End a while ago and loved it. It's a beautiful underground home. I seem to be on an underground kick at the moment. This one, it's by an Italian mod author called Morris Mark. And so ciao everybody. Um, and I don't remember this before. Was there a stable here previously? I can't help thinking not, but I'm not sure. I'll show you where we are on the map, just in case you, by any chance, you've not seen this mod before. Here's Riverwood. That's a mod. And there's Ray XN. So it's right on the river. Got a few mods around here. The Cat Store. Um, Arcadia's Farm. Cottage in the Woods. My Riverwood is also um, modded. I've got Cryman's Riverwood installed. So, yeah. The little cave is right there, and the home itself has just been augmented, really. The original Rayx End. Oh, I'm stuck in the water. Get off me. There. No, there we go. So, I have my travel lantern on because even though I've got the light version of this mod installed, it's actually still quite dark, especially for video purposes. So, my hanging moss has been turned into hanging roses because I've got the mod for that installed i'll leave you the link for it in case you like it personally i love it it's only a couple of situations where it looks a bit weird and that's hanging off the big mushrooms in solstein but everywhere else wow so this is all the same you'll see rayak here you can bury his body and if you take his blade from the knapsack oops then you can also place that very cool. There's also a note in there which you would have seen that gives you a really decent amount of backstory. The whole story of this mod is super charming, actually. So, forgive the flickery light, that's entirely down to my travel lantern. It's a wood chopping block, and this is all the same um, as the original mod. Look at all that. That's so handy. If you like collecting dead animal heads <laughs> so here's your little handle to get into the home which you can shut behind you in it goes already indoors are you coming good girl Oomph. <laughs> and then you the key that you'd have picked up from the knapsack, knapsack allows you to open this door so I've got the snazzy furniture overhaul installed, which is why my curtains look different. But the inside here, it's all the same. And it's stunning, isn't it? Every time I come back here, I just think, wow, this place. It is awesome. I'm going to store your bug jars. So really the purpose of today's video is not to linger on everything that's the same, but to just show you the new parts, because it's there's quite a lot. But just as a recap, so attractive this place. He picked up the ball and ran with the decoration in here, don't you think? Love this little library. And everywhere in this home, there are little places to put all sorts of special items, so keep your eyes open. Oh, that is stunning, don't you think? Wow, I find myself just staring at these things. Hey, Inigo. So this is where the first real difference comes in. Your bed used to be here, and I always... You know, I didn't care for it, the fact that the bed was right near the cooking area. Never liked that. So, I'm very happy with the changes that have been made. Look at this down here. Isn't it just amazing? I love this room. I love all the waterfalls everywhere. Wow, it's beautiful. And I'm not going to linger on all of the storage options, but as you can see, there are plenty of places to put stuff. And the whole structure is gorgeous. I know we're underground, so these windows are, you know, Kind of weird, but <laughs> I can forgive it just because this place is so lovely. I do have a couple of oddities here. Do you see my ivy? It looks like there should be something there. 
but whatever it is isn't showing up and that's the only issue I've actually got in this place and you may not have it it could simply be down to the hundreds of mods that I've got installed at the moment this garden is so gorgeous love it okay maybe we'll go down there at the end but let's have a look at the new stuff first so where your bed was you now have this archway with a door that clearly is supposed to open but could i find the blooming opener for it and i searched everywhere i thought i had anyway so in the end i toggle collision <laughs> big cheat toggle collision and went through but actually spoiler it's right there in the water and there is a clue actually there's a journal morris's journal if you read that uh then you know it kind of guides you as to where it is but for the life of me i just i'm very impatient when it comes to things like this i hate it when i can't solve things immediately <laughs> fully realize that makes me sound like a petulant child <laughs> all right so this is the new part and it's really ever so much in the style of the rest of the home got a couple of followers beds in here so there's no rooms for kids added personally that's fine by me I don't adopt so you know it's not really a, a, a home for kids anyway I don't think do you maybe I suppose it could be but there aren't any And here's your bedroom now. A couple of wardrobes. And that is beautiful. And so this kind of looks like what it used to look like, if you know what I mean, in the previous area that we were just in. And if you play as a vampire. How is that for a posh vampire bed? That is so cool. So bookshelves, mannequins, weapon plaques, etc. Yeah, I can't help feeling that this ivy is supposed to be draping something, but it's not weird. So this wardrobe, as you can see, you can go through it into yet another area. And this is enormous, guys. I was like, oh, it's just going to be like the other one, a little downstairs room, you know, bijou. Not at all. Wow, this flickering light is so annoying, isn't it? With the travel lantern on. But I really want you to be able to see it properly because there seems to be some translation issue between what I see on my screen and what actually comes out on the video sometimes. And places can look darker than they actually are. So this is really handsome. I love this whole gargoyle bookcase situation. And these library benches, how nice are they? Love the mixture of the textures. And the little tiny blue lanterns with the braziers inside, they're adorable. And as you can see, this place is massive. So these are weapon racks, how cool. Very nice, that's what I'm using at the moment. I think that was part of Legacy of the Dragonborn. And so this is just like a massive armory. Speed it up a bit down here because, you know, it's all pretty much of a muchness. So yeah, again, you're going to spend a long time filling this place up. And look at this with the light coming through. Wow, it's beautiful. Love this so attractive somewhere to store your treasure maps oh and this is very cool so let's see not sure how much I've got on me at the moment but let's see find out I guess see what it looks like I love these displays good god my bags though 
Uh, here we go. Right, let's stick in half of that roughly. Oh, nice. And now these shelves kind of make sense, you know? Wow, this is... Oh, that is really nice. So, yeah, very grand. I do love that, don't you? That's such a cool feature. And I know it's a device that's used by a lot of mod authors. It's a, a popular thing. And here you could store all your hold armors. Very nice. I love this place. I mean, I loved it previously, and now I think it's even better. I really do. I just wish that it was a tiny little bit brighter. Wow. That is so beautiful. What a good job. And I like that he's chosen the Solstein music here. I'm not sure if there's a home teleport spell. I haven't found one anyway, so I'm guessing not. I'm loving all the blue lights. The change is really quite spectacular when you go from one part to another. And yes, it all fits in so well together. Okay, well, I'll leave you with the garden to remind you what that looks like. Wow, it's beautiful down here. It's very cool. This storage here, it really looks like you've just bought everything in by boat, dumped it on the dock and then constructed your home. But actually, you know, <laughs> clearly you haven't. But so nice, all this deco, little garden, few soils. And what to do your washing. Even an ore. This looks like it should open, but doesn't. Maybe there was a rock fall, eh? Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to leave you with that view of the home and call that the end of this wee video. Thank you, as always, for watching. I truly appreciate your support. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon for the next one.